Greetings everyone, welcome back to some more Pokemon TCG opening. Um, today, <laughs> we're going to be opening up another Shining Legends Elite Trainer box. And in case you couldn't tell, I got a new little mat. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't hide the shadows as well as when I was using like the black mat. Because uh, as you can see, it's showing off the shadow from my, uh, my light behind me and then my mic. But... I still like it too much and I kind of like the whiteness and I just wanted something you know besides the black and I found this on Amazon and I thought it was pretty cute and adorable and it was pretty funny uh, especially since I like the Eevee's evolutions and I like a lot of the cards I figured why not get the Eevee evolutions uh, which is just hilarious to see all of them you know in a nice little Eevee pile with the normal version on top but nonetheless uh, opening up another Shining Legends box. We did open up three of them before. Granted, we you know you only saw one open, and I already had two already had opened because I had just taken out the packs, so we already know what's in here. But I'll reiterate, you know, what you get. Of course, you get your sleeve, which inside the sleeve <coughs> is this nice little poster of all, well not all, but most of the, you know, the shiny Rick Krazar, the shiny Mew, uh, the Mewtwo, and then the shiny Genesec on the bottom. That of course is standard. You get your book, which most elite trainers do, gives you tips and tricks, uh, as well as a list of the Pokemon cards in it. So that's always nice, especially if we're starting off, these are always a great way to start off. You know, one thing I did notice, I don't think I brought it up in the last one, is that you can see uh, on the boxes, normally they just put a little divot in here to, I don't know if you can see it too well, let me actually take this off. <clears throat> but you can see now it's actually angled on the bottom, where the previous ones, they were just like a little divot, you know, they just knocked it out, and then you could lift it up. But this one's actually angled, which I think looks a lot nicer, I gotta say. Uh, so we do get our packs, which uh, let's see six there. Let's get this cardboard out of here. Get your trainer cards. You get trainer code. You get another pack and the dividers. More packs. Get your energies. Get your tokens. Get your damage counters. You get your box. The most important thing, I think. <laughs> so, of course, you get your pack of, uh, was it 50 or 60 energies? Uh, usually, you get five of each. I think there's, like, one short of one of them. And, of course, you get your packs, which in here you get 10, because this is the only way you can really get Shining Legends packs is through the box sets and <clears throat> the Elite Trainer boxes, which th I think the Premier box is a waste of money. You know, you're paying. You're probably gonna pay 75, 80 bucks for where you get one of these for half the price, and you get the same amount of packs. Which the packs are the most important part. Granted, of course, you also get the shiny ho ho, but you only get the shiny ho ho in this one. Kind of sucks, right? Uh, it doesn't come in the premier pack. The premier pack has some other uh, little goodies, cards, but I think the shiny ho ho is a lot better than those cards. <coughs> Uh, excuse me, one second. Uh, and of course you do get your dividers. Which, four dividers for the box. Pretty standard. I actually used a lot of the extra ones to have. Um, I bought one of those 5,000 card boxes. So I put those in there and using them to divide the uh, types of cards. The types of Pokemon. And of course you do get, these are really cool. I actually like these cases over most of the others uh, just because they're black and they have the gold just really slick really looking really nice looking and they're really good um, sleeves too but let's go ahead and put these away for now move these guys over start off already with a shiny of course you get your damage counters which is a nice little see-through dice for your damages as well as rolling and your uh, tokens and of course code which we will probably be giving that away and of course for any digital code the rules are simple leave a comment 
email me at dcw underscore core at yahoo.com make sure it's titled youtube booster and the trainer box code would be randomly sent out to someone um you know that gets a regular pack code or previously from my last video i might pick someone as well but most of the time a lot of you guys are pretty much the same people so i mean <laughs> you're probably gonna one of you guys are gonna get it uh, but yeah just try to leave your name or have your name linked to your email address so I know who uh, sent me the email and who commented and that's that and let's go ahead and get into this we got 10 packs so hopefully we're still looking for that shiny Mewtwo or he's in the chamber oh, and of course that code is upside down for some reason do not worry about it do not even try to use it because I am using it myself. Two, three, four. Because I honestly, it's nice to have the codes on the videos, you know, but I don't like giving out codes on videos because it's only the first people, you know, that see them pretty much could nab all the codes. So I like to do this email thing because I think it's a little bit more easier, a little more legit kind of <laughs> you know so people aren't copying you know Ooh, nice we get a nice reverse uh, grass energy and we get a shiny Jirachi cool I haven't I don't have one of him yet so he's definitely new so so far this box is starting off pretty strong get a nice reverse energy which I think the reverse energies look really nice but yeah, as far as the codes giveaway, I do this, I do it this way because, like I said, it's just easier for me, and it's, I mean, granted, yeah, just showing off the code is always, why are these codes upside down? All these codes are upside down, where, um, like I said, it's easier for me to make sure everyone <coughs> uh, gets a code. So I'm using that one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, like I said, it's just easier for me to make sure everyone gets a code because <clears throat> I just want to make sure everyone gets a code because it's just more fair <laughs> to everyone because I've had those times where it's like, ah, oh, there's a code, I'm trying to use it real quick. I already take it. You know, there's only like. 10 views on the video and it's already taken plus so reverse foil and a Lactios hello there so <clears throat> I'm just trying you know trying to make things fair trying to make sure everybody gets their fair shot and trying to grow my channel of course I don't remember these being upside down because I could have sworn the codes in the last packs were, you know, not facing down like the rest of the cards. They were facing the other way, but I could be wrong. Oops. <laughs> uh, fire energy, warp energy, regular. Jinx, Pikachu, Turtle. Nice, reverse foil. Ultra Ball and a Yavet. Oh which we have quite a few of him but he is not bad I do not mind getting more of him <coughs> excuse me guys I'm still I got some allergies acting up on me plus I'm actually doing this early in the morning uh, instead of typically I do this at night because that's when I get some free time to really do them before but today is my day off so I am doing them early Scraggy. Yeah. Reverse full energy retrieval and nice. A full art Pokemon breeder. Which is pretty nice because uh one of my friends is trying to collect all the full art trainer cards. And I might just sell that to him. I mean it's not too expensive, so it's up to him. Um the card itself, draw two cards and then heal your active Pokemon for 20 damage it's okay uh, you know 20 damage 
doesn't seem like a lot, but it could mean, you know, a game pretty much. Especially if you're, you know, it's early on and, you know, your Pokemon have only taken 20 damage from the first, you know, couple attacks. So, you know, it works out pretty well, I think. Fizz, Pikachu. Nice. We're getting some reversed energies. And a Rishop. Rishiram. Rishiram. I believe it's pronounced. <laughs> like I said, I never played black and white. I kind of got out of it uh, during that time. So a lot of those black and white Pokemon and stuff I, are kind of more new to me than like Sun and Moon and stuff. Because I actually played Sun and Moon. This pack's being a little pain in the butt. But yeah, so <clears throat> a lot of the black and white or cards I haven't you know I don't remember how to pronounce them because I didn't play them so double colorless put that out to the side balloon tarkoal Ekans Pikachu Jinx reverse Litten nice and a Zorok Zor Zoroak Zoroak <laughs> for some reason one of my friends correct me on it and I thought I said it correctly before uh, cause I just said Zorok, Zorok, Zoro, Ark, Zoro Ark, GX, which he's probably one of the most sought after cards in this set, I think, cause he's pretty up there as far as the regular GXs, as far as price, and luckily for me, I have two, and a secret rainbow rare of him from the last drawing, so, so far, I'm getting pretty lucky on him. Because he is probably going to be the most sought after card in this set. Just as far as actual actual play. Because he's pretty strong. Nice. Oh, it's so pretty. A reverse wall, double colorless. And a Raikou foil. Which, yeah, I already have one of him. But he's not bad. I actually like the other Raikou um, from... I think it was Breakthrough or uh, the base Sun and Moon set. Um, he has an ability, you know, electric energy on him. He takes twenty percent. He takes twenty damage less, and then also his attack. Uh, you know, as the more energy, the more electric energy you have on him, which it takes three colorless, the more damage it does, which is pretty cool. I like that. Warp energy. Bro, Ivy Sword, Torco, and this we first fall talk it out, and a Marshadow, which Marshadow is pretty cool too. I think he's one of the more popular ones as well for his ability. Let loose when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn. You may have each player shuffle the hand into their deck and draw four cards. He's not that strong as far as attacks and HP. But as far as an ability, that could be a real game changer, especially if your opponent has a lot of cards. It will change up everything, so he only has four. So far, one shiny. Hoping for one more. That would be pretty nice, I think. Four. Another shiny or another GX. Uh, I'll get a secret rare, that would be cool too. I think that would be the best. Especially if it's that Mewtwo. Because I want that Mewtwo. We only have these two packs left. And it's not looking too great. Nice and a little Sinner War. And a Shamin. <clears throat> so, so far, not too bad. The full art is a nice little surprise. The Shiny Jiracha is pretty cool. Which I didn't even look at the ability on him. What is it? Uh. Stellar Rain. Uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolved, an evolved Pokemon, devolve it and put all of the evolution cards on it into your opponent's hand. Ouch. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I believe there's an SP on that. A lot of people like to run in a lot of decks that does something similar. The SPO is probably better because he's not as weak. 
but you get Jirachi <coughs> in there, in and out. I think you're pretty safe. Pokemon Breeder, Spirit Tone, Garage, Plus Soul, Tarp Cat. What is it? The damage Mover as our reverse, and another Raku. So, not bad. I do like getting those, like I said, those uh, reverse energies. So that's cool. Uh, which is actually funny that I'm actually building my deck uh, around electric uh, and uh, Tapu Koko because I found a nice little uh, kind of uh, a, style, a style gameplay with them. And I actually put uh, the full art Bridget in there and I also put the uh, the secret rare lightning energy in my deck which I think is going to be a trip when people see that come out and play uh, just because it looks really cool and why not I mean I'm not going to sell it so might as well use it right just to show off a little but Pokemon Breeder is pretty cool uh, I think that's the best GX to pull and then the Shining Jiracha I think he does he he goes for something I know he's not he's, he's decent I mean the shinies are kind of what you're looking for more than like the foils because there's not too many good uh, regular uh, foil rares but there are a few not too many though not as, not as many as most packs because this one pack you always get a foil or a GX or something really good as long as you reverse foils so they're kind of all worth it <laughs> but yeah so far not too bad I do like that double colorless for sure and that is that for this box still don't have that Mewtwo secret uh, I might get another box to try again but most likely I'm probably gonna trade my uh, secret rare Zorark for uh, the secret Mewtwo because they're I mean my card is a little bit more value but I think a lot of people like that Mewtwo so We'll see. If you have one and you want to trade, let me know. We'll figure something out, especially over here in Southern, Southern California. But, man, <laughs> not in a rush. I'll probably trade it out at my local Frankenstein someday. But, like I said, if you guys want to code for one of these packs, we got five today, and someone will get a random trainer box code. Um,. If the person that won the last trainer box code also wins this one, I probably will send it to someone else just because you already got one. So let someone else get one. So that's that. But if you do want just, you know, a booster box, a booster pack code for Shining Legends, um, they're pretty good value, especially if you're playing online and you want to trade for, you know, a better card. You could pretty much trade one pack for any card you want. Uh, I've done that a couple times. Because a lot of people want the shiny ledgers right now because they are high value. But until next time, guys. Later.